Hello everyone, this is Airy, and to be honest, I don't really know if this is going to be a good review video, or even a review video at all. And the reason for that is because I've been struggling to figure out what to say about this game for months and months and months. And I kind of feel bad about it, and it's not a feeling I've had before for a review, like sometimes I feel a game is bad, sometimes I feel a game is good, but I've never really felt bad for a game, because I guess my overall feeling of this is that it's I don't really feel good or bad about it, it's more like I'm kind of neutral about it, and it makes me wish it could be better, and it kind of feels like it's not going to get better, not because of a lack of effort or something like that, but just because it's hitting a bit of a dead end, and that leads to like a, a weird dilemma which I haven't actually had before with reviews, and I'm sorry for being a bit meta here, but I just don't really know how to talk about this in a way that's positive. The basic idea of this game, it's called Triangle's Project Battle Splash 2.0. The basic premise is that it's a multiplayer shooter game where you fight in an arena, there's different game modes of course, like free for all, um, fighting a giant uh, robot, like PvE style, um, and team-based play, but the main difference here is that you play with water guns, so there's no blood or anything like that. And there are a couple of games that do kind of play with this idea where the weapons are water-based, such as Pl Splatoon, um, which is uh, very kid-friendly. And this is a game which kind of tries to follow that same idea. But overall, it just feels half-baked for want of a better term. Like, I, every time I look at a different option or I play with a game mode, I feel like this is something that has a great idea, but it just needs more work. Like, it needs more feedback or attention. Maybe this person's working up, like, barking up the world, wrong tree. And that begins to go into the circumstances around this game and why I kind of feel bad about it. See, usually when I get review cards, I'm very grateful for any single one of them, but I always had to go through an application process, and it's very rare that someone contacts me directly and asks for a review key, and this was something I actually got through that method. Like the developer contacted me directly, I just didn't really know what to say. Like I did promise I'd do something soon, but this was all the way back from last year, months ago, and I just struggled with how to swing my feelings into something positive and constructive. Because this guy, he's based in Vietnam, and he's a solo developer, and he's making it in the Unity engine, and everything I go through in the game, it feels like the vibe that I get from it is that this may or may not be one of his first game projects, and a lot of things are implemented in decent ways, but not in ways that I kind of expect a multiplayer game to be. For both better and worse. Sometimes there are some ideas that seem interesting, like the whole water gun idea. In other cases, it's more like it feels a little outdated. Uh, for example, there's this class system with four characters, and each character has a different special ability. It's kind of like in, say, Apex Legends or Overwatch. And they also have their own set of weapons, but the way it's triggered, the way that the ability is triggered, is a little bit convoluted. And the weapon system, it doesn't seem to be fully implemented or not perfectly implemented because every class has access to all weapons. And since it's only made by one person, it's another one, it's another thing where it feels like, oh, I wonder if there's a lack of feedback here or a lack of testing here where he put the idea in but didn't really have enough of an opportunity to fine tune it. That said, this is really impressive for only a single person trying to make a multiplayer game. Like, there's servers, there's fairly uh, acceptable bots. <laughs> Not the greatest bots in the world, but no bot ever is. But there are bots, there's online, there's like a mini-map system, there's lots of different game modes, 
And it's all of the all of it is claimed to be implemented by this one person. And it just lacks refinement. And that's the overall thing I have to say about it. Like it just lacks refinement. That's that's just the overall takeaway. Like I don't really know how I can recommend this, although it is only being sold for a single dollar now on the Steam store. If, if you think of it as something like this is a, a game made by someone who's still studying video games, like a student game, then I think it's worth that one dollar to just look at and see what could have done, been done better or worse. But since it's a multiplayer game as well where you play on servers, it's also a game that doesn't really have a lot of lifetime, which is really one of those things where I feel bad for it. But there are also bots which lets you play around the game system and actually get in the number of rounds. But beyond that, I only really got about an hour or two's worth of gameplay out of it. And for only a dollar, that is, you know, you will be getting your money's worth, but that's a fairly low bar to really speak of. And that's kind of it, like I... <laughs> does this even sound like a review? I don't know how to make it sound like something that sounds positive when the main thing I can really feel like saying about it is not only does this need more work but it also it also feels like this person needs someone to work with how, how, when I think of saying something like that I wonder how I would react if someone told me that because these, these reviews I make they're partly to people who are interested in playing games that they haven't seen before, but they're also kind of geared towards giving feedback to the developer and hoping that the developer takes something away from it as well. And when I say something like, I think the developer shouldn't be working alone, I wonder I wonder what they'll feel about it, and I hope they don't take it the wrong way. Because I don't think that this developer is bad at all. It's more like I think he's stretching himself a bit too much. Because an online multiplayer game is a very big project. It makes me want to go to the developer and say, hey, I want to help you develop this idea, but it needs to be smaller in scope or targeted towards something with single player. And I hope he's not discouraged by that. Because there are still things here that seem to be still kind of a work in progress or there's some remnant stuff behind. Like, for example, there is that giant robot challenge, um, which seems a little half-baked again. And there's also additional classes. There seems to be hints of a fifth class, which I've seen in spectator mode, like someone using some kind of bow weapon, but not a playable character yet. And um, several months after I got the review key, there were also like costumes and DLC and stuff like that. So he is still making something, but it still goes back to that feeling of I feel like he shouldn't be working on this alone, and that's probably the weirdest, most unique conclusion I've gotten from trying out a game and reviewing it so far, because I've had a lot of different feelings from reviewing games, but nothing as direct as I think the plan for this game isn't really the right plan, and that's kind of it. All in all, it was something that still fascinated me when I first got the email, because Getting a game that was developed in Vietnam um, was something that stood out to me as well as a bit of a fact because um, it seems like games are really a global thing now. So, yeah.